That's an interesting sandwich you got going there. Mm -hmm. So it's like mozzarella and pizza sauce. Pizza sauce and chicken. Mm -hmm. It's just the leftover chicken from the chili. Huh. I used some the other day to make a chicken salad, but we don't have any mayo. And mustard was okay, so this sounded better. Huh. I'm just uh I'm just gonna have a peanut butter sandwich. That's no longer frozen, but also not really toasted yet. Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. Um getting ready to have a lunch, a bit of a late lunch. Um, breakfast stream went well this morning, and then uh, I had scheduled the uh, fan favorites video for 11, so it was kind of nice. Breakfast stream went until about 10.40, so people could just take a little break and then go over and watch the, um, you know, the premiere. And it was, it was nice. I, uh, I actually, um, I watched the chat on, uh, on YouTube the entire time that uh, it was happening. And Mal and I watched the, you know, premiere with everybody. And it was good. It was really good. It was, um, it was hard to put together or, I mean, Dan put it together and then I edited it down. But it was, it was hard for me to do that part um, just because there, there was a lot of, of footage of Sagan. But, I mean, they were, they were favorite moments. You know, they were favorite moments long before... You know, we knew he was, you know, going to pass away. Um, but, it, you know, it, it is still difficult. And while we watched, Kep was on my lap, and um, there's a few times where Sagan was very vocal in that in the favorites video. And, you know, Kep's ears perked up, and he sat up and was, like, looking at the TV. And <sighs> it's a little difficult, but... They're still good memories. And, uh, you know, as rough as 2020 has been, and as rough as the very beginning of the year was losing him, um, I am still extremely grateful that we have all that stuff on video in the first place. And it was nice to look back on 2019 with everybody. Um, I think the weirdest thing about it is, you know, 2019's moments are out now, the, the fan favorites video, and uh, we're, not we haven't yet released all of the 2018 vlogs which you know is, is a plan for this year if we can make it make it all happen but that means that there's also a 2018 favorites video that will be coming out at some point in fact it's completely reasonable that the 2019 2018 and 2020 videos will all come out within the span of 12 months and that's weird but it is what it is and it is a uh, a result of uh the timeline split so I don't have any regrets about it. It's just kind of a weird thing that'll happen. Yeah. Anyway, I should probably eat this sandwich. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna try this finally. We got sent this in mail a while Strawberry ago. Coke. Yeah, we got sent it a while ago, but we haven't, um, you know, tried it. Obviously, since Mel just opened it, and that's the one flavor we've never had. I don't think that's one that's available even at a. Um, What's it called? Freestyle. Freestyle machine. It smells very strongly of strawberries. And it's Japanese strawberry, which yeah. is like super potent. I don't taste it though. Really? Mm hmm Even as an aftertaste? Mm, a little bit. It's not as strong as I thought it would be. It smells extremely strongly of strawberries. That tastes like strawberries. Are you crazy? <laughs> Maybe. Well, that definitely tastes like strawberries. I mean, it, it, so it tastes like strawberries in the same way that vanilla Coke tastes like vanilla. So yeah, that, that's a good comparison. So it's not like, that's basically the equivalent. So if you've ever had vanilla Coke, th that experience, as long as you're not having it like on tap or something, cause that's different than having it bottled, but if you've had bottled or canned vanilla Coke, you know that, that feeling of like, you can taste it. It's not the strongest thing in the world, but you can taste it. It's the exact same with this. And it's the equivalent of, um, do you remember there's hard candies? What? There's, there's a, there's an old fashioned style hard candy 
that the wrapper looks like a strawberry. Yes. That's what this tastes like. Yes. Exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Mystery solved. Is he misbehaving? Yeah. <laughs> he's getting his bacon, but he's doing it around the scratching post. He loves that bacon. It's been really, uh, it's been really interesting to see him kind of change because he's not, historically he's not been super, super big into toys and he's, he's starting to change a little bit. I've seen him play more than he used to. I mean, he still, he still plays like that, you know? It's not, it's, it's not like a rambunctious play, but he's playing, so that's good. Um, fast forwarding to the, the end of the night here, and um, we're getting ready to watch the uh, Animal Crossing episode that is about your town, mm -hmm. um, which actually Dan sent me a while back, and I just, I didn't watch because I didn't think about it, and all of a sudden it occurred to me that this was coming out Saturday, Yeah, and I was like, crap, I should watch this, so I'm going to watch it before um, the day is over. Uh, but, but today was good. I, I managed to get a lot of stuff done. Um, I feel like, and this is sad, I feel like I'm, I'm more productive in the evening. Uh-huh. I mean, I feel that way too, but I feel like it's because the sleep schedule isn't right. <sighs> yeah. If things, if things are a little wonky and it gets close to the end of the week though, I just, yeah. I just kind of allow it. Cause I know that things get messed up on Fridays and Saturdays and like, I've learned to accept that uh -huh. and the, that's the cost for like staying up late on Saturday and having like social time. So, you know, if things are like not perfect by Thursday, I'm like, eh, it's fine. <laughs> Fix it next week. But, um, I am product. I, I feel like I am productive at night and like some of it. Yeah. might be the schedule, but also I feel, I don't know. Maybe it's because I haven't spent, I have, we, our sleep schedule hasn't been like super, super messed up mm -hmm. in a while. Um, so like as we start to gravitate towards the, like the the evening where we would normally start getting ready for bed instead knowing that I have a little more time I've been really like getting stuff done so that's been nice anyway I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap it up here. Um, tomorrow's exciting because we get to play Breath of the Wild again and I'm looking forward to that basically every single week now um, today was a good day I really enjoyed I really enjoyed seeing everyone's reactions. Um, I uh, I got a little emotional. Um, I, I I was getting a little emotional editing down the fan favorites, but um, I I got emotional watching it with everybody and seeing their reactions to to seeing Sagan so much again. I cried. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> But, again, I feel grateful that we have memories. Me too. And uh, we're going to relive this again because 2018 fan favorites will come out at some point. Not to mention when I start going through those vlogs, there's going to be vlogs. And yeah, there will. It's, it's just this lingering feeling, but it's not one that's bad, you know. It's it's like I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what's in there because I don't remember. And it'll be nice. It's, it's not all bad it's not dire it's just it's just how things are okay thank you for watching and as always let's be back tomorrow shall we